Hunter Biden, President's son, who is the subject of an investigation led by Republicans in the House Oversight Committee, as well as a federal investigation, said today that he is willing to answer lawmakers' questions with this stipulation that he gets to testify in public and not behind closed doors. CNN's Manu Raju is live for us on Capitol Hill. Manu, why does Hunter Biden want to testify in public? And I would assume House Republicans would be keen to accept the offer. Yeah, House Republicans have been demanding all year Hunter Biden's testimony. They issued that subpoena last month. That subpoena called for his testimony in a private deposition behind closed doors. Hunter Biden's team is saying he will testify, but in public. And the reason why they say that if not, they argue that his testimony will be leaked and it will be distorted. In the views of his lawyers, they say this. We have seen you use closed door sessions to manipulate, even distort the facts and misinform the public. We therefore propose opening the door if as you claim your efforts are important and involve issues that Americans should know about, then let the sh let the light shine on these proceedings. Now, the House Republicans are not going for this. Both House Oversight Chairman James Comer as well as House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan say that first, Hunter Biden must come before closed doors and then they would consider having an open public hearing. This is what James Comer says. He says Hunter Biden is trying to play by his own rules instead of following the rules required of everyone else. House. That won't stand with House Republicans. Our lawfully issued subpoena to Hunter Biden requires him to appear for a deposition on December 13th. We expect full cooperation with our subpoena for a deposition, but also agree that Hunter Biden should have the opportunity to testify in a public setting at a future date. And Jake, as you know, this is all part of the Republican impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden, trying to draw a link between Hunter Biden's business activities and Joe Biden's actions as vice president. They do not have proof put in tying the two together, but they are hoping that they can reveal some in this closed door and also potentially public testimony. We'll see if it gets to that point or if this standoff will persist. So how are House Democrats reacting? Well, they're pushing back and they're siding with the uh, Hunter Biden attorneys. Jamie Raskin, who is the top Democrat on the House Oversight Committee, uh, said, let me get this straight. After wailing and moaning for 10 months about Hunter Biden and alluding to some vast unproven family conspiracy, Chairman Comer and Oversight Republicans now reject his offer to appear in public. So you're seeing how Democrats will respond, signing with Hunter Biden. The question is, what's next? All right, Manu Raju, thanks so much.